Welcome to the 2024 Men's Volleyball Youth Sports National Championships here at Queen's University, presented by Mikasa. This, my name is Everett Lorm, joined by alongside Ben Plazota, and we have quarterfinal number two coming at you guys right now with the uh, OUA champions with Mass Marauders taking on the bronze medalist from the Canada West, the UBC Thunderbirds. Yeah, we're in for a big matchup here. We've got a lot of talent on both sides of the floor. Uh, just last night we had Maxime Graton of McMaster named to the first team uh, U Sports for McMaster uh, and setter Mason Greaves named uh, to the second team All-Star for uh, UBC. Absolutely, two of the best teams in the country set to go toe-to-toe as we see some of their season statistics uh, on the board there. UBC, of course, losing the semifinal to Alberta, who just won in the last match, a fantastic 3-1 win uh, over Laval. And UBC, the last time they were in this national tournament, uh, Ben, was back in 2018, and they won it on McMaster's home floor. So this one is, is, is bound to be an interesting one. Yeah, a little bit of history there for these two teams. Maybe a little extra motivation. And there you see uh, the statistics between Maxime Graton and Mason Greaves. Uh, Graton, a left side uh, t- hitter for McMaster. Not, not very fair to throw up some uh, um, offensive statistics there for Mason Greaves, the setter. But, of course, you can see Maxime Graton, uh, 304 points uh, this season. Has just been an absolute powerhouse for uh, the McMaster Marauders and Greaves runs one of the s- smoothest offenses in U Sports Volleyball and he is going to be needed all of today if, if they're going to maximize their chance and try to get to that semifinal matchup against Alberta tomorrow. Yeah, you see the assist numbers there from Greaves 962 assists all year really showing how he is the spearhead of this offense able to get his, get his hitters involved in a variety of ways. Absolutely, and we are getting set now for the uh, national anthem between these two teams. We're moments away from this quarterfinal matchup, and we'll be right back after the national, after the, the, the national anthem. Mark Hees here, president of Canuck Stuff. We've been standing behind our overkill clothing and supporting athletes for over 30 years. We're pumped to be part of this year's U Sports National Championships. For the fun of it, for the thrill, for the camaraderie, for the memories. CBC Sports, just because they love it. Feel every hit, goal, and celebration as if you're standing right on the sideline, immersing you in the game like never before, bringing heart-pounding action directly to millions of fans. We deliver unparalleled simplicity and tailor-made digital broadcasting solutions crafted to make you feel every moment in a way like never before. Our passionate team ensures your message reaches audiences reliably every time. Proudly Canadian, we bring a touch of innovation and our passion to the world stage. ISI Live, be there. Hey, you sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. U 
Sports on CBC, presented by the Championnat du Sport à Radio Canada, une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the Government of Canada, Nike, just do it, Fedler, Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U Sports Coach of the Year program, Pierre Partenaire des Prix de l'Entraîneur de l'année U Sport, Vera Burn, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979. Partenaire du Sport Universitaire depuis 1979. Baron, exclusive supplier of U Sports Championship rings. Le fournisseur exclusif des packs des championnats U Sport. Et par Mikasa, l'étoile menton du volleyball. Le V200W, ballon officiel de U Sport. And by Mikasa, maker of volleyball's hottest star, the V200W. Official volleyball of U Sports. Mark Hughes here, president of Canuck Stuff. We've been standing behind our overkill clothing and supporting athletes for over 30 years. And we are back in the beginning moments here before match number two, the second quarterfinal here at the 2024 U Sports Men's Volleyball National Championship presented by Mikasa here at the Athletic Recreation Center at Queen's University. My name is Everton Lauren, joined by Ben Blazona beside me, and we saw Alberta take that first match 3-1, and now we'll see this matchup between the McMaster Marauders and the UBC Thunderbirds to see who will meet them in tomorrow's semifinals. As we see the starting lineups for McMaster. And I won't lie, Ben, this is one of my most anticipated matchups here for the quarterfinals. You've got... I mean, hands down, one of the best programs, not only in Canadian volleyball, but on all in North America, and the Master Marauders. And then you, on the other side, you have a young, young team. None of their starters. And no one, there is no upperclassmen on this UBC roster here, Ben. No one in fourth year, no one in fifth year. This is a young, young team. And, I mean, in speaking to their coach, or assistant coach Matt Kruger before this match, He's like, hey, we're young and we're just ready to go for it. We got nothing to lose. Yeah, a lot of youth and a lot of talent. This is a this is a great matchup we have here between the three seated uh, McMaster Marauders and the six seated UBC Thunderbirds. McMaster was the OUA champion this year, uh, taking down uh, your host school, Queens University, in the OUA final, where UBC actually was the bronze medalist out of Cam West this year, uh, with some tough semifinal matchups. Uh, knocking them into that bronze medal, but still able to find their way here and well-deserving to be here with its strong Can West division. Yeah, absolutely. It's, you know why? This is, this is I, I said it a little bit earlier this week that um, it's very interesting how the bids work out for these tournaments. I personally almost think that we should have four teams from the Canada West just due to the, to the strength of their conference. You know, you could definitely make an argument for a team like... Um, uh, a, a fourth team from the from the Canada West, but on the other side of the net right now, you do have the McMaster Marauders, the three-time defending OUA champions. And despite being in their first year, after under new head coach Brad Dowers, are still able to get it done. And we are about to get underway once again here, the second quarterfinal. And of course, Breeze is going to set it up, and that's the big block there by Tyler Pavlik to shut the door and McMaster takes that first lead and a first a first steal there for the Marauders. That's a tough matchup on the left side there with Pavlik and Mills. Big, big block on the left side for McMaster. Brady Patterson, the first year, getting the start right now into the net. And of course McMaster uses a two, a two libero system between Matthew Rugosi and Ben Kirkhoff. Kirkhoff used for service receive. Rugosi is quite the defensive magician. You're going to see him chase quite a few balls down, not only today, but throughout the rest of this week. Kirkhoff, not so much the service receive specialist on that one, and Beth Holland's just going to put that one over. Tree handles that one. On the right side, Jinjera. Reeve Jinjera detonates for his first swing of the match exactly the start you wanted for UBC. Big offense, good way to take advantage of a free ball coming over for the master. And Gingera puts that one away. One another good serve there by Greaves, and that's going to be an ace. Early on, UBC coming with a lot of momentum. 
This is a uh, this is a deep McMaster team, and you're going to see them settle in here, especially uh, Ben Kirkhoff in the libero position. Yeah, Kirkhoff is a veteran. He's been here time before. Is that drip one dribbles over? Here's Max Gasol's first real swing, and that was well handled. High ball out of system. Just takes a little bit off, able to put it just in front of the UBC defender in six. Great swing by Gratton. He does such a good job of placing the ball where he wants to with pace or taking it off when he needs to. Now Pavlik ooh, puts that one into the net. Pavlik, the lone fifth year on this team. Now as Gavin Mose heads back to serve for the Thunderbirds, and that's going to find its way into the net. And as to be expected, both teams kind of feeling each other out in the space out a little bit early on. That's right, first game here for both teams in this U Sport National Championship. You're going to see a little bit of nerves, maybe a few errors early. But both teams will look to iron those things out as they get going. And this is a guy that right here, the Masters going to want to get going, Brendan Mills. In my opinion, one of the biggest right side prospects right now that we have in this country. He, he's a powerhouse talent, and you're going to see McMaster go to him on a regular basis. That's a, a rare miss serve for him from the service line. When he gets going, it is a boomer of a spin serve. This one's going to be a really interesting matchup between Reeve Jinjera and Brendan Mills, the two opposites in this match. Because, whoa, ho, 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 James Vincent with the wiggler, and that one finds the court. UBC has been coming off strong from the baseline. And Graton standing up real high on that one. James Vincent able to cut in on the angle. Graton handles that one with his hands. He's going to get it back on the outside. Goes down the line. Dug by Greaves off the chest. Unable to get there is his middle. That's a big swing from Graton. Greaves with a little smile there after taking that one off the chest. Big swing down the line from Graton. Good to see Greaves be able to just shake that off quickly and get himself reset to run his offense. Maxim Gaton now back to serve for the Marauders. Of course, out of Ottawa, Ontario. Decent serve in. That's going to be tracked down. Jim Jarrett is going to send over a free ball. Good opportunity here for McMaster. Outside, Patterson! And what a swing by Brady Patterson. Brady Patterson, you mentioned first year, but does not play like a first year at all for this McMaster team. He is potent on the left side, especially if you give him a one-on-one -on -one like that. Gaton continues to serve as McMaster. Oh, oh, I don't, I don't know what that. That one was, that one was close. Yeah, our line official down low to check track that ball, calling it just out the back, but. Tight nonetheless. So not a bad miss if you're Gretton. No bolt six here at the U Sport National Championships, unfortunately. No video check. As Jinjera heads back to serve. Again, we've seen a few service errors early in this in this quarterfinal matchup. It, we saw the same thing in our previous quarterfinal matchup too, ever where early on maybe the nerves are getting to teams. We're here in this court for the first time this weekend, so. We'll look for both teams to clean that up as they move forward. Woo! There we go. It's that first run there for UBC. The first look at the receipt of Jesse Umori. Real physical there in the middle. Yeah, fast, fast up in the middle. Great swing. there by UBC is their lead has really diminished they're up 6-3 a moment ago and now it is 8-7 as now Robbie Fusawa heads back to serve for the McMaster Marauders oh and that one handcuffs oh the Thunderbirds and that is an illegal ball as Jinjera dangerously jumps into the stands into the outstretched arms of Alberta Golden Bears head coach Brock Davida yeah, you love seeing guys going after balls, but you're 
as a coach or a fan, you always get a pit in your stomach when you see guys jumping over barriers. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's a scary one. Oh, Robbie, that one falls a little into the net. Zumora now heads back to Surrey. James is set. Handled there by Graton. Now to the pipe to Graton. Oh, nicely dug. Kept alive though, well done by UBC. And that's just gonna be dumped over. Opportunity here for McMaster. And the pipe to Graton, what a dig by Jinjera. And once again, McMaster, Pavlik this time. Oh, Morin can't get that ball up. Fantastic defense all by UBC. Awesome defense and just a really good job by McMaster to stay patient throughout that rally. Not panic when the ball is passed over on on first contact and just settle into their offense. Brady Patterson now back to serve. Nicely handled by UBC, and that's gonna go to the outside, tipped over. And that is gonna be down by Gavin Mose. Just into the reach there of Brendan Mills, the right side for McMaster. Mason Greaves now back to serve for the Thunderbirds. Let's see. He's going to go cross court right at Patterson. That's going to pass the middle of the court. Right side, Mills. Off the head of Vincent and out of bounds. It's our first real swing, the real look there at Brendan Mills so far. And that was just a, a, a fantastic swing. It's that kind of physicality that if he can play physical like that, no one can play at his level on UBC side. Good pass there by Mose to the middle of Vincent with the answer for himself. Nice run by Greaves. UBC's done a good job of establishing their middle early. A couple fast approaches by both uh, Vincent and uh, Hugh Morin, quick to get a couple points for the Thunderbirds. I think UBC feels like they have the advantage in the middle, middle matchup right now. That's a big serve there by Mose. Gutton's going to get it out of system. He uses, does a, he does a good job to use the hands of Ginger to go off the block and out of bounds. Breton, he's not the biggest left side that we're going to see this weekend, but he is so aggressive and just so smart with what he does. He's going to find ways to get under blocks, over them, and around them all weekend long. Yeah. Breton, coming from a, a long lineage of national team athletes, his father played for the national team. But speaking of which, that man there, his father also played for the national team formerly, Mr. Randy Gingera. And Kent Greaves as well as Mason Greaves. So you've, you've got a lot of legacy kids in this in this matchup here, Ben. That's right. All three of those kids probably grew up in a gym just like this, watching watching their parents play volleyball at a high level. His Mills now back to serve. Oh, that was a big serve there. Now out of system, just going to be dumped over by UBC. Nicely handled by Ragosi. Now to the pipe to Patterson and oh. That's one that UBC would want to have back. It trickles off the net and falls between the left side and the lip. Tough break for UBC. They were in position. They were exactly where they wanted to be. And an awkward bounce off the net goes McMaster way. Mason's brother Logan there, unable to handle it on UBC. But he sets back up and serve receive as McMaster holds a 13 to 11 lead. We saw right side Mills off the block. Can they track it down? They do. And that's a 50-50 ball. What a dig by Mason. Oh, and Logan unable to get there, but Mason Greaves showing why he is the player to watch for this UBC all over the place, checking down that ball, but was just a little, left a little short on that joust. And McMaster going to take that 14-11 lead into the timeout called by head coach Mike Hawkins for UBC. You see the physicality of Brandon Mills back on the service line, just leaning into his spin serve right now, feeling great. And again, out of the back row off the block, causing that uh, out-of-bounds touch by UBC. You're going to see McMaster try and go to him as often as they can. Um, just such a balanced offense they have, especially between Mills and Gretton um, on the left side. So McMaster looking looking steady to start this first set. First set, sorry. Yeah, so as we go through some highlights there, man, look at the pike he Gretton gets, and he's an undersized guy. There's no there's no doubt about it. 
Now, what's what's he listed on the uh, the stat sheet there? Six foot one. Yeah, really. six. Uh, <clears throat> you know what? I'll I'll give him that. Most guys, I would say, like that's a generous, like that's a six foot one on the stat sheet. I'll give him get on give get on uh, six foot one, but he makes up for it in so many different ways. He doesn't play like a little guy too. No. A lot of live guy, little guys like to chizzy. They like to go off the block. They like to go inside off speed. Gigaton is a power swinger. In his he's head, in his head, he's six foot ten. That's right, and he will be aggressive all night long. That's one thing he does really well: is stay consistent with his game. And you're going to see him look to just, like you said, ever just be a powerhouse out there today. The other player that McMaster really wants to see going is Brendan Mills. <laughs> And he is one of the most more physical guys, definitely, that we have in the country right now. A member formerly of the junior national team as he goes back to serve right now for the Marauders. Nicely handled by Logan Greaves. Outside to Tobe. That's recycled. Now right side, Jinjera off the block. Kept alive. Jinjera again off the block and down. What patience there by the Thunderbirds. What plays by Mason Greaves as well. A couple diving plays to pop that ball up to allow his hitters to score. Just just superior athletic play by Greaves. You can tell he's a volleyball player. His comfortability with the ball, the way he moves on the court, the way the way he's been on and off the ball so far, like he's impacting the game so many more ways than just being a setter. Great run there by Fujisawa. And I have to say, we're in for a treat. This is two of the best ball distributors in this country between Greaves and Fujisawa. That's right, awesome find me find Kaiken there in the middle. That's one of the first runs we've seen through the middle for McMaster. If they can establish the middle, it's just going to open up the outside hitters for them and really make this offense tough to face defensively. Here's Maxim Gatton. Oh, and that's an ace right there in the corner. And Tob points it in and he agrees. 16 to 12 now. Seems like a long time ago when they were down 6-3 there, Ben. Yeah, McMaster's just looking comfortable to start this set. You know what, that's that's kind of what to, to be expected, right? This is a veteran team that is used to being in these situations, right? They're used to winning. They're the three-time OUA champs. Won the bronze medal last year. It was a great slow down there by the Marauders in a great run in the middle. Again, we're seeing Fujisawa try and establish that middle for McMaster just to open things up even further for him. Jared Cook, another first year. Sorry, kick it. Uh, another first year for the Marauders, and for so long, it's, 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 it's been tough to break the Marauders' starting lineup as, as a first year for a long time. It's been a quality organization, so the fact that they're still winning OUA is with these first years, it's quite impressive. That's the first we've seen out of Kicken, but Brady Patterson, the other first year, has been quite impressive as well so far too as well. Yeah, McMaster, just such a strong team. They just look comfortable right now, ever. And maybe part of that is this is a gym they've played in multiple times already this year, right? Sometimes it's tough. UBC having to come across the country, find themselves in the Queen's Arc in just an unfamiliar space where McMaster maybe has a little bit more comfort level and we're seeing that early in this set, the way they're coming out and just playing like this is their home away from home right now. Yep, absolutely. You can see that McMaster looks very comfortable. And I think, you know... McMaster hosts a lot of national championships, right? Like, if you've been thinking in the past decade, I think they host the most out of, out, out of anyone else. And it might be nice to play nationals not on your own court. As much as it's nice to play in the Burge sometimes, if you're a, a McMaster fan, the art can be pretty nice too, especially when you're playing against UBC. We've got someone now back to serve. McMaster leading 17-12. Uh, that big serve is into the net. That's what UBC needed right there. They needed to McMaster to slow down, especially Graton slow down a little bit as they bring their, uh, sorry, as Gingera comes back to serve for UBC. This could be a good opportunity for Gingera here to get things going a little bit for the Thunderbirds. They started this match serving really strong. It's really turned off since then, but there's the ace as Graton's caught falling backwards and he gets ace. And he's smiling and kind of laughing that one off. And I bet you he's going he's gonna to challenge Jinjera to do that one again. That's right. He's probably going to adjust right here and not make that same mistake twice. Another big serve by Jinjera, but nicely handled by Gatton. Outside to Patterson. That's blocked but kept alive. Fuchisawa now in the middle and oh, kicking. I, I, 
I'm usually a big fan of Robbie's decision making. I wasn't so much on that one. And I think that's what Brad Dowds is telling him right now, especially like, no need to, to force the middle on that one. Just give a nice high ball to your big bang and right sider on, on that play. Yeah, that's right. Forcing uh, McMaster to take their first time out of the set. Uh, two point lead here. Good time out by McMaster. Not, not letting this lead fully slip away. Want to settle his troops early in this, sorry, midway through this first set here of this quarterfinal matchup and maybe make the UBC server think about that serve for a little bit longer. Yeah. I won't lie, Ben, it's a little weird to look at that McMaster sideline and not see Dave Preston. And uh, of course, Brad Dows has previously been with this, this this team, was a former assistant coach, also was a fantastic head coach at Redeemer University in the CCAA, in the OCAA as, as well. Now he's on to, to a bigger task, and not only are you leading a U Sport team now, but you're leading, you know, one of the top programs in the nation. Yeah, a legacy of a program, really. Like you, like you said, this team is used to winning. They're used to being in these big matches and on this big stage. So, big shoes to fill. Uh, unfortunately, in, in men's volleyball in Canada, there is a few consistents, and that is uh, Alberta, Trinity Western, and, and McMaster. Mm. As Jindera gets us going underway here again. And that's another big serve that will be long. Nicely spotted there by Kirkhoff. And now we have a substitution for the Marauders coming in to serve will be number 16, Jason Heidberg. Another, another first year. With a bit of a hybrid there but it comes back now Patterson on the outside oh and that's a block that Mason Greaves would like to have back yeah just didn't get his full press there on the outside unfortunately um, but Patterson's able to find those hands and drop that down on the UBC side Heidberg continues to serve now as McMaster regains a sizable lead up 19-15 nicely on it Tobe Right side, Jinjera, and that is out of bounds. He's got a live arm, good contact, but just missed it. Yeah, a little bit of a hybrid serve here from Heidberg, too. It looks like he's going to attempt a spin, and then at times comes out as a float. A little bit deceptive there for the Mar Marauders. Love a good hybrid. Oh, yeah, once again, spin, toss, float, serve. Mishandled, outside, Tobe. Oh, off the block, out of bounds. Great use of the hands there by by Tobe on the left side. Really reached up high for that one, pushed it down on the block. Trying to take advantage of the matchup he has right now with the McMaster setter, Fujisawa. Tobe now back to serve. No change up for him, was that just straight gas? Now Mills on the right side, he's shut down, but it's out of bounds, oh, oh, oh. And that is overruled by head referee Ryan Bunyan. Hey, you know what? Ryan's one of our internationals, so I'm going to give him that call. Yeah, that was a big, fast play of the net. Yeah, it, it was. And you could tell by the, the UBC bench definitely thought that was in. Mike Hawkins got a little animated there. It's Tobe now. Oop. That baseline. Just uh, no. toe over the line there on that serve. Uh, classic, you can't do that from the McMaster bench as well. And we're seeing the animation from both both benches in this game, having a lot of fun, enjoying being here at the U Sport Nationals. Yep. Fujisawa now with the floater in. Outside now to... And that is going to be given... Oh, it's a net violation. Sorry, I was a little confused there after the swing by Gavin Mose. Net violation there on the, on the Marauders. Well, we don't see much of a reaction there from McMaster, so no. They continue to lead 21-18 here in this first set of the 2024 Men's U Sports National Volleyball Championships. Kirkhoff there all over it. Now Mills on the left side and he's blocked. His junior national team te teammate Mason Greaves shuts the door. Mason Greaves not afraid to go up against big Brandon Mills there. Great block on the left side by Greaves. No, and I mean, if I'm Mills right now and I'm looking at Fujisawa, and I was like, you're giving me that next ball. Let's see if he does it. Pass by Patterson. Yep, outside to Mills. A bit of a stubborn step, and he's shut down. James Vincent 
And just like that, UBC is right back in it, 20, down by only one. We're seeing a quick momentum shift here for in favor of the UBC Thunderbirds. And all off the serving here of number 10, Nicholas Johnson, who has come in as a serving sub and done a really good job targeting Brady Pass Patterson on that one sideline. And now, once again, Brendan Mills has to just dump it over. UBC a chance to tie it up. It's just tipped over and unable to get there is Kirkhoff. And just like that, from 21-18 to 21-all. UBC has really been powered behind this serve from uh, Nicholas Johnson here, forcing McMaster into their second time out of the set. It, it's just in that really bad situation where it's, it's you're in rotation one, right? Your setter is in rotation one, and they're causing that that sideline to sideline serve from Johnson is just causing so much miscommunication, and Fujisawa hasn't been doing a great job to get behind the ball and give the ball to Mills, but this is definitely their weakest rotation here uh, for, for McMaster. So let's see how they're going to come back and, and, and answer this one. Yeah, and we've seen, we've seen today in, in our two matches now the big spin serve and how that effective that can be. But we have for the first time today, I think, uh, a float serve on a big run. Yeah. Right, where he's doing a good job of keeping that ball low to the net, just over the height of the net, and attacking with pace this back row defensive setup of server C reception, sorry, of McMaster. If you're new to volleyball, you don't probably see that as a hard serve, especially with the side angle view. But if, you're, if you've been around this game, you know how difficult it is to, to pass that ball as a left side hitter. It's coming across your body. It's going to the one sideline. You've got to get outside your body and direct it back in. It's such a tough... Like, this, this is why as coaches we say, especially like in any situation, we want to give that ball to one. It creates more confusion, and that's what we're seeing right now on the McMaster Marauder side of the net as Nicholas Johnson continues to serve here for the Thunderbirds. 21 all in this first set. Oh, and another out of system play here in a free ball situation. A chance for UBC to take the lead. Missed pass there by Johnson. Now outside tipped over. Shot down by Fuchsawa. Now high for Mills. And he's shut down. James set, And just like that, UBC has the lead. Big, big, that's back-to-back -back block by Vincent out of the middle on Mills. Let's see if Mills can shake this off and get himself back into it from a master offense. Here. This four-point run for UBC has really turned the tides here in this quarterfinal. As Nick Johnson continues to serve and continues to cause problems. Nothing in front of the attack line for McMaster. Can they keep this alive? They do. Now Grease just tops it up, and it's kept alive once again. Oh, and what a swing. He just squeaks it, squeaks it through is Gavin Mose. Once, twice, three times is the second from the second year hitter. Yeah, great change up by Mose on the left side there. Taking a little bit off. Didn't have his full approach, but just very smart with where he placed that attack. What a run here by the Thunderbirds as they have taken a stranglehold in this first set. And the passing woes continue. And so do the woes for Brendan Mills. James Vincent gets him for a third time, Ben. Vincent cannot be beaten right now. He is big in the middle and is just not letting anything through and gives UBC their first set point of this quarterfinal match. And to me, it looks like, look at the information that's coming from the sideline. You have Mike Hawkins co uh, talking to Jinjera. You have uh, Kruger coming in as well to talk to that blocking. They're so dialed in on that sideline right now for UBC. Maves to the outside, Moes. Here's a chance for McMaster to get out of this one. Outside, Mills, tipped down, but it's still alive. Greaves, now outside, Moes again. He's gonna swing, dug by Graton. Mills, outside once and again, swinging away off the hands, and finally, McMaster stops the bleeding, but is it too late then? Never too late for this McMaster team, especially with Mills finally kind of finding the court there, able to score a point. You see a big sigh of relief from him after being shut down the three previous swings. Now another sub coming in for the Marauders. Peter Pillen to serve. Second year setter out of St. Catharines. Nicely handled there by Grease Vincent. Puts the nail in the coffin and UBC turns the tides down 21-18. Come back to take it, 25-22.
fitting too to end that set to Vin said after he did he was so pivotal in that comeback for UBC three huge stuff blocks for him and then the, the kill to give UBC a one nothing lead here in this quarterfinal matchup against the McMaster, McRa Mc McMaster Marauders what a great job there by the Thunderbirds Exploiter mon potentiel maximum, c'est un truc de fou. Découvrez les récits numériques et vidéos de Podium sur RadioCanada.ca et sur l'appli Info. U Sports on CBC, presented by Les Championnats U Sport à Radio Canada. Une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the Government of Canada. Nike, just do it. Fedler. Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U Sports Coach of the Year program. Pierre Partenaire des Prix de l'Entraîneur de l'année U Sport. Vera Burn, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979. Partenaire du Sport Universitaire depuis 1979. Baron, exclusive supplier of U Sports Championship rings. Le fournisseur exclusif des bagues des championnats U Sport. Et par Mikasa, l'étoile menton du volleyball, le V200W, ballon officiel de U-Sport. And by Mikasa, maker of volleyball's hottest star, the V200W, official volleyball of U-Sports. Welcome back to the 2024 U-Sports National Championship men's volleyball here at Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. CBC Sports is our host, and CBC Sports is the home of University Sports in Canada. The best youth sports women's volleyball teams head to Hamilton this week for the for the 2024 Youth Sports Women's Volleyball Championship. Catch, catch the action exclusively beginning tomorrow at noon Eastern time on CBC Gem, CBC Sports.ca, the CBC Sports app, and CBC Sports YouTube. Youth Sports on CBC, chase the glory. Absolutely. Big shout out to the CBC Sports for supporting University Sports here in Canada, U Sports. Of course, we got the Men's Volleyball Championship going on right now, the Men's Hockey Championship that's going on uh, right now as well with Rocky UNB playing in their first quarterfinal. The Men's Volleyball Championship, or sorry, the Women's Volleyball Championship starting tomorrow as well too. But we've got a good one here, and then in that first set, UBC trailed for the majority of it. Down 21-18 late. They're able to come back off the serving of off the bench from Nick Johnson and some fantastic blocking from Jameson Sets. Yeah. Tough break for McMaster. Really uh, got stuck in a rut there at the end of the first set. And UBC capitalized. They had a big block at the net. Took advantage, especially against McMaster's big right side of Brendan Mills. He was able to get himself out of that slump, but... It was a little too late for the Marauders in that first set as UBC was able to take it 25 to 22. UBC with the serve here to start this second set. Up 1-0. Reeves now back to serve. And we talked about this the, the youth on this UBC side. No one older than the third year as Reeves gets us underway. Goes right at Patterson. Outside now to Gato. Oh, and that was a shot to the chest to Logan Reeves first point to the Marauders. And if you hear McMaster, that is exactly how you want to start this second set. Out to your first team U-Sport All-Star, All-Canadian sorry. And him take a hard cross-court swing. Pavlik now. Good serve there on Greaves. Jim Jarrett's going to get on the left side. And oh, that's some poor blocking there by the Marauders. And you can see it by the reaction of Mills. Jinjera just chops that one into the block and finds some space to waterfall. That's right, Mills wants that one back. It's Mills and Jared Cookin on that one. And the serving woes continue for Mose. Sorry, I had to. Mills now back to serve for the Marauders, and he really struggled towards the end of that first set, trying to hit on the left side, left side, but that was a fantastic serve by him. 
Right side now to Mills on the C ball and he gets blocked again. And that one has to be on Robbie's set. That was rolling inside. Not a good, not a good ball that you want to try to give your star right side to get him back into the match. Oh, a tough ball for Mills on the on the back row right side set there. He's shaking his head knowing that he's in a bit of a slump. He's gonna to look to find himself, find a way to get out of this. Right now, this is UBC's chance to really capitalize on this. If Mills is struggling and it's only gets home looking for McMaster, their chances in this match go up incredibly. That's right. You're going to UBC, that's two service errors already in this second set. They don't want that to start. They did a good job in the first set of limiting their errors. Gratton back to serve for the Marauders, and he's really going to need to turn things up now for the OUA champs. And oh my goodness, the struggles for kicking continues as that ball comes back. That's two points in a row now for the Marauders. They've gotten good serves and not followed through with the points. Let's see if the first year middle can shake that off. He knows he wants that one back. He was trying to be smart with it and go deep with his dump, but a little at the back. Not sure who McMaster has on the bench in the middle position right now. But UBC gives it right back with a missed serve. That's definitely one area that like, we saw UBC dominated the beginning of the set and the end of the set off of strong serving. That needs to continue with that. that, that that's, a, that's where their success starts and stops. Kick in now. Good serve in, and that's going to be passed off the net. Greaves just going to be dumped over by Tobe. Fujisawa now to Pavlik, and they put that one down. McMaster creating a bit of a separation there. You see the leadership there from Fujisawa knowing his first year middle, maybe a little bit down on himself after sending his last attack out the back, so goes right back to him to build that confidence. Kicking back to serve, or continues to serve now. McMaster leads, 5-3. Missed pass once again, Patterson puts it over. Oh, Fujisawa, that was a close to being over. Now Tobe. He's going to dump, picked up by Patterson and Fujisawa kicking, tracks it down, and that one is, I thought it was outside of the antenna. They're going to let that one go. Tobe again off the hands. McMaster now to Pavlik, and Pavlik with the second one in a row. It was ugly, but it doesn't matter. 6-3 McMaster. Oh, great play by McMaster to stay in that. I believe that was Pavlik that tracked that ball down out of, tracked the ball down out of bounds, saved it back in play. Gave McMaster the chance to get that point. Yeah, great work there by McMaster. It's, it's, it's not working for them right now. The offense isn't chugging like it used to be. There's, a, there's some disconnects, but they're finding ways to, to make it work. And that's that's right. you, you, you always say that like, good teams find a way, ways to win in bad situations, and that's exactly what McMaster's trying to do right now. That's right. We know if you want to be successful at this level, you have to do the gritty things, right? You have to win those dirty points that are scrambly, out of bounds. Maybe the ugly stuff. And McMaster's doing that right now. They're finding a way to, to score points, even with the offense, like you said, ever. It isn't quite where they want it to be. But they're doing a good job of scrambling and giving themselves a chance. And, in fact, a three-point lead here in this second set yeah, that against was a, UBC. That was a veteran move there by Tyler Pavlik. He didn't try to do too much. The set wasn't necessarily there, but he stayed poised, saw the opening, was able to tip it down. Yeah, that's a shot you try and teach kids young, especially middles, that yeah. double block left side coming to help. A little bit of a tip around. Scores more often than not. Kicking now, continues to serve here for the Marauders. Takes a little bit off of it, but still a good one. And Umorin is shut down. Now outside to Tobe. Can he save it? He does. And now UBC gets it back in the middle. And Moses dug nicely. Now outside Patterson off the block of Umorin, and that's kept alive. Now Jinjera on the right side. Nicely kept alive by the Marauders. They're scrambling everywhere. What defense. Now in the middle, Umorin, he's shut down by Pavlik, and it's done. What a play there by, McRod by the McMaster Marauders. They are all over the place right now. And what a series by Tyler Pavlik. Having to use all six foot nine of his frame to get a fingertip on that ball to keep it alive. Especially for a middle, that's 
You don't see them get digs too often, so it's awesome to see him contribute defensively. Big run here by McMaster earlier in, early in the second set. And remember, they lead, they led the majority of that first match. Oh, his kick and puts that one nicely down the line. And to Umorin, oh, what a force there by Greaves. Runs a real low. Umorin puts it down. Yeah, Umorin able to kind of open up his shoulders and close them quickly to snap that ball back around to the center of the court. Great run in the middle. He is physical. Connor Tobe now back to serve for UBC. And just long, Tobe. Just another Albertan in, U in, in British Columbia. I believe that is the fourth missed serve for UBC in this set, giving uh, McMaster half of their points. That's where like UBC is bread and butter they're serving. They've found success by strong serving. They need to keep the ball in. As that swing is just long by Reeve Gingera. And 9-4 now for the Marauders. Yeah, McMaster continues to roll here. Now behind the serve of Fujisawa. Just putting it in play. Letting them play volleyball. And that was a 50-50 ball at the net. And Brendan Mills. Brendan Mills showing that he's not just an offensive force. That big frame of his is able to get up and put up a big block there to score the McMaster point and force UBC to take their second timeout of the second set down six early, 10-4. Yeah, not the spot you want to be in if you're UBC. If you're seeing assistant coach Matt Kruger. Kruger. This, this is an interesting team, UBC, as we've mentioned, very young. A lot of first and second in years. The oldest members are, are, are third years. Um, although I may, I'm wondering if some of that is due to like, like they're considering like the COVID years in that, you know? And P potentially, yeah. So we'll, we'll have to see on, on some of that. But we're seeing Mike Hawkins talk to Mason Brees on his own and Matt Kruger talk to the rest of the team. But I mean, talking about a coaching staff, Mike Hawkins, assistant coach of the men's national team. Be traveling with, with, with the boys to BNL and potentially the Olympics this summer, and then you've got Matt Kruger, who is the assistant coach for the women's national team, uh, and, and Shannon and Shannon Windsor also runs the NEP program on the women's side over there in Vancouver in the fall. So you just have a wealth of knowledge between those two guys, and so much international experience on them. And I think they're they're happy to be here with this young team right now. One hundred percent, yeah. No uh, no shortage of knowledge and experience, like you said. But again, we see that same knowledge and experience right from some of these McMaster players we talked about UBC having a lot of youth McMaster also does too but you see these upper year classmen for McMaster really taking on this leadership role today yeah as we see Fujishawa getting us going again it's gonna go right side to Jinjera and what a great answer there clean good volleyball pass set hit love to see it from the Thunderbirds yeah, you want to go back to Jinjera. He, he's been the spark plug so far offensively for the Thunderbirds, and it's good to see him continue to, to roll in the second set. Jesse Umora now putting the ball in. Fujisawa to the right side to Patterson. He hasn't seen much action this afternoon so far, Ben, but when he's been called to, he's done well. Yeah, smart play by Patterson. Big block close there. We've seen what Vincent can do as a middle blocker. And he's able to take advantage of hands just slightly turned outside. And into the net is the swing from Patterson. With Greaves heading back to serve now for the Thunderbirds. And Greaves is one guy who can cause some damage. This is a rotation if you're UBC you want to focus on. You've got a lot of size in the front row and you've got all three options. Mills now and that time he's not blocked. Goes off to a block of James and sets him down. You can see the smile on Mills' face after that one. Him and Vincent have been back and forth so far today with the swings and the blocks and he came out the victor in that one. You know, once again, two teammates of the Canada Next Gen team, that U19 program from a couple years ago. So those two guys know each other well. 
very familiar with each other and kind of know maybe each other's tendencies, especially for Vincent as a blocker. Oh, Having wow. the advantage of knowing Mills' style of play, how he likes to attack the ball, could be a huge asset to his team. And, and one of the criticisms I do have about Mills is that he does have a lack of offense, right? A lot of his success just comes from out physically, guys. I want to see him develop some more shots. That was a beautiful shot by Maxim Gatton, high, hard, off, off the block. Um, but, you know, Mills surprised me by being as effective as he was last year, and I really want to see him continue to refine his game a little bit more. Because if, if he will, like, he has, like, international, high-level professional potential. Ah, it's a bomb of a serve, too. Now outside the toe, and then shut down there and kicking. Finally gets a positive on the stat sheet. Other than his serving. That's right. Big triple block by McMaster. Gratton coming all the way over to close that triple block on the left side. McMaster currently doubled up on the Thunderbirds. As that one is just long by Mills. Moe's able to just get out of the way there on that serve. Good read by him in serve receive. Has been set back to serve for the Thunderbirds. As you mentioned before, also a member of the next gen team. Going to go at Kirkhoff and he passes the one up to the middle of the court. Outside now to Graton. Oh, what a shot. His vision, his ability to see where the block is and where the block is and see New Yumorn was laid over that, just put it right over top into broad daylight in the back row. And that's two in a row for Graton. He's really starting to heat up in the second set. Back to the service line now with his big over the top spin serve. Gotta love the mustache too. Ooh, just long there by Graton. See the two libero system in play here for McMaster. They've been, they've been running this one for a while. It's the same two guys they had last year as well between Kirkhoff and Rugosi. A great tandem out of the back row for Mac. Now Gingera just clips the net, but it's over. High ball to Patterson. He swings away. Wow, what a rip. Love that. Patterson really coming alive. He had a great swing on the right side in his previous rotation and a big swing on the left there. I've really liked his game so far. He's understanding that he's not the option. I mean, he's not the guy. He's been passing pretty well. He has a good defense. Being a good team too, but when he's been called on, upon he's been fantastic now we don't have any stats but i would assume his hitting efficiency is quite high and that's when we miss pass there and logan Gree's going to put it outside of tobe off the block tracked down by patterson now it's to the right side mills from the c ball he thought there was a touch Gaton saying no that's out of bounds by the marauders 16 10 they lead yeah mills Mills needs to hope to see him kind of settle in here. That a bit of excitement there from him, thinking the ball was touched, but six point lead, just settle in, play your game. And things will be fine for McMaster. Upsawa now under the pipe to Graton. And that's where you gotta go. You gotta feed that hot hand. So like Graton, the first team all Canadian here for McMaster, really showing why he earned that spot on the first team. All Canadian list this year. The six point of the match, he leads all hitters. Fujisawa puts that one in. Yumorin is shut down, but to keep it alive. Good job by UBC. Nice chew there by Greaves. Now right side, Mills off the block. Oh, and that was difficult by Tobe. Just he couldn't was, quite control that off. He was in the right position, but yeah. balance was going backwards and unfortunately off the arms and out the back. That we are going to see a sub now for the Thunderbirds coming, coming in and for Tobe is Dawson Pratt, first year out of Vancouver. Master up eight here in the second set, 18-10. Just long there by Fujisawa. Fujisawa's done a good job today of kind of running a balanced offense for the McMaster Rodgers, but also knowing when it's time they need a point, he goes and finds his big dogs. Nassim Graton has been big in this second set for McMaster. Let's see if he finds him in the back row here. 
That did look like it was out. Uh, not called there, so we go right back to play. Good dig there by Fujisawa, but back on the UBC side, passed off the net, into the pipe, Jinjera! What a swing. The UBC net, or UBC bench was looking for a call there. Yeah, well, they, I, I think it, actually UB McMaster was looking, thought the ball was out of bounds off UBC, outside the antenna, There's both down officials, line officials called it, but head official called them off. I like it, Ryan Bunyan, let, let the boys play, let the boys play. Outside now to Mills, well, he's just got to dump that one over. Oh, and Vincent. That was a tough bang bang play there by Mills, goes up. Gets shut down by Greaves and gets, gets touched the net on that one. Greaves has done an excellent job today running his offense, but being a blocker, that's a couple times he's gotten hands on big plays and send it back to the Marauder side. Well, here comes back Nick Johnson to the game. Let's see if he can spark some. And that is a big point there from the master. They're going to Brady Patterson. That was one option they didn't try to do in the first set when Nick Johnson went on his run. That is a huge sigh of relief. And you know, as a Marauders, how difficult that was to get out of the rotation in the first match. That's right. That was the spearhead of that big comeback by UBC in the first set was the service run by Johnson. Now we have Peter Pilling in the game to serve for McMaster. Kick it. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, James set does a good job to squeeze that one through. We was able to force it in there off the middle hands and down. Yeah, sorry, that wasn't kicking on the serve, though. It was uh, Peter Pilling. And now, Mason Grease back to serve. A lot of brothers. You got the two Greaves and the two Tobes on this UBC team. Of course, all out of Alberta, or Calgary, to be more specific. Passed up to Fujisawa. Great force there to Pavlik. And you can see that connection. That's two players who have been together for quite a while now. Now Pavlik heads back to serve. With the Wiggler. Greaves passes that one up to the attack line. Big swing there by Mose. Gavin Mose off the hands and off the defense. He's quietly done an excellent job today, just being efficient with his swings. Hasn't gotten the ball a ton, but when he has, he's scored. You would like to see someone from this UBC side really heat up. As he gets home. Gets slowed down there. It's Fujishawa. Oh, I don't know. They're going to call him on the lift. And now it, it, it's gone viral a few times this year on social media. And Fujisawa loves to set that fast middle with the back of his thumbs and fingers. Right? As, as every volleyball player has done, you know, just flipping it up to yourself. But he does it very effectively. Ryan Bunyan not going to give it to him on that one, though. No, that was a tough play. If Fujisawa does have the ability to do that, but uh, head official not allowing it on that one, like you said, Everett, and, and the point goal is UBC way. It actually forces McMaster to take a timeout here. Uh, up four, though, looking to just kind of keep this lead. They yeah. It was around this time in our game in the, sorry, time of the first set where UBC mounted their big comeback and was able to steal the first one, so maybe McMaster just saying, hey, settle in. We're not going to make the same mistakes twice. Let's go inside out of this play. Look to find maybe Graton or Mills, one of their big offensive weapons to get them out of this serve-receive rotation. Absolutely. And especially for McMaster, you know that that serve from Nick Johnson is already gone. He's already he's already come through. He won't be coming back. That's what caused you so many problems in that one rotation in the first set. And you're going to be able to come back solidly. I think there's a lot of positives from McMaster right now, too. They're playing decently well in this first set, up by four, but there's still a lot of room for, for this team to grow. Like Mills can be playing better. Cook in the second middle can be playing better. So I think there's a lot of positives for, for McMaster right now. As Moes gets us going here, going after Patterson. Now Fujisawa outside to Graton down the line. What a swing. And that's where they go when they need to side out, when they need a point. They're going to go find Maxime Graton on the left side. 
as he's just overpowering UBC right now. His, his vision is so good. They give, like, they're only giving him one shot, and he's executing it perfectly every time. Mills with the big serve there. Nicely handled by Logan Grease. What a dish by Mason. Ginger off the block. He got tall and out of bounds. 21-17. Good swing by uh, Gingera on the right side there. Gratton able to get hands on it, but not able to quite push it down onto the UBC side. Now Vincent, he was a huge factor in that first set win and has quieted down quite a bit here in set number two. And that serve is going to be just long. And the master comfortably walking towards this second set win. Yeah, Gratton back to serve here. It's been about 50-50 from the service line. Today, let's see if he can find the core with his big spin. What a big swing there by Graton. And yeah, there's gonna be, oh, it's a double. Yeah, just a little funny out of uh, Greaves' okay. hands there. Tough play though, he's running against the flow, tracking that ball down, doing the best he can. You know, that's the type of play that the uh, the NCAA women's will no longer be calling. They want to let the uh, the athletes set the ball in that situation, and I kind of like that. Good dish there by Greaves, and automatic is Jinjera. You know what, so far, like, if, if Jinjera is in system and he has the look, like, he's automatic, but you have to find for him to be maybe a little bit more dominant and potent and out of system, maybe broken play situations. Yeah, they haven't been able to find him in all those situations, but like you said, he can be dominant for this team. Oh, right there. It looked good for a second. Great eye by McMaster, let that one go. And they are now one point away from taking this second set. Here's kicking. Caused some problems with his serve today. And another tough one, and there's the ace. Four kicking, and McMaster evens it up here in the second set. They take set number two, 25-18, at the 2024 Men's, U Men's Volleyball U Sport National Championships from Queens University. Mark Hughes here, president of Canuck Stuff. We've been standing behind our overkill clothing and supporting athletes for over 30 years. We're pumped to be part of this year's New Sports National Championships. They don't do it for the likes or for the shares. They do it for the fun of it, for the thrill, for the camaraderie, for the memories. CBC Sports, just because they love it. Parce que le sport, c'est bien plus que des résultats. C'est aussi des analyses et des dossiers qui nous plongent au cœur d'un univers complexe et en mutation. C'est vraiment incroyable. Suivez les actualités sportives sur RadioCanada.ca et sur l'appli Info. every hit, goal, and celebration as if you're standing right on the sideline, immersing you in the game like never before, bringing heart-pounding action directly to millions of fans. We deliver unparalleled simplicity and tailor-made digital broadcasting solutions crafted to make you feel every moment in a way like never before. Our passionate team ensures your message reaches audiences reliably every time. Proudly Canadian, we bring a touch of innovation and our passion to the world stage. ISI Live, be there. 
Parce que le sport, c'est bien plus que des résultats. C'est aussi des analyses et des dossiers qui nous plongent au cœur d'un univers complexe et en mutation. C'est vraiment incroyable. Suivez les actualités sportives sur RadioCanada.ca et sur l'appli Info. Parce que le sport, c'est bien plus que des résultats. C'est aussi des analyses et des dossiers qui nous plongent au cœur d'un univers complexe et en mutation. C'est vraiment incroyable. Suivez les actualités sportives sur RadioCanada.ca et sur l'appli Info. And we are back now for set number three here of match number two of the 2024 Men's Volleyball Youth Sports National Championships. Live from Queens University, my name is Everett Long, joined by Ben Pizzotta. And it has been a fantastic match so far in game number two. Laval took the first one, three to one. Or sorry, no, Alberta took the first one. The, the look you gave me there was just like, <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Did you watch the same game I did? And then now McMaster just even this thing's up. At one set apiece, taking that second set, 25-18 as Brady Patterson gets back to get us going here in the second. And that one just out the side for Brady Patterson. Opening point goes to the Thunderbirds. Center Mason Greaves back to serve. Outside now to Graton, off the block and out of bounds. Graton just picks up where he left off in that second set, able to find hands and score at will so far in this game. He's leading the way today for McMaster with, in kills. That one is going to be just long by Pavlik. Goes back to serve. He was able to go on a little run last time he was on the service line for UBC. Let's see if he can repeat it here. Outside now to Graton. What a perfect shot. My goodness. Everything. Call him Pig Midas. Everything he touches is gold. The athleticism too, too. I believe he passed that ball and serve receive low to the ground. Able to get himself outside and find the deep cross corner to score. Maxime Graton, 12 kills, no errors. He's hitting a 923 right now. It's just absurd. <laughs> That's, those are middle numbers. And he's yeah. doing it with high volume on the yeah. outside. That's insane. And at six foot one as well, that is so damn impressive. He has really stepped up his game this year. That's right. That's the reason why he is first team all Canadian. You know, we saw him struggle a little bit in the, in the championship last year. And, Really, he has come into his own as Brendan Mills tips that one just wide. And Mills' numbers have been real tough. That is his ninth error of the match. Yeah, he has struggled today, which is uncharacteristic of Mills. You can kind of see it on his face, a little bit of frustration. Let's see if he can find a way to dig himself out of the slump he's in. And Seth, who has been the other side of quite a few of those Mills errors, so he's the ball in, but the man out of London puts it away this time. And that's one way to get out of a slump is a big backcourt swing. And you know Robbie Fujisawa knows he needs Mills to get going. So yeah. he's not going to shy away from giving him the ball, even with the high number of errors. He's going to keep finding him and allow him to get in this game. And that serve is going to find the net for Graton. And that is definitely a breath of fresh air there for the Thunderbirds. They lead in this third set, 5-3. serves now as that one is long by Gingera. Yeah, Kai came back to serve here. Done a good job from the service line so far today. <laughs> Nicely swung through the block there by Nick Toe. Sorry, Connor Toad. Connor Toad, yeah. 
Yeah, again, we, we talked about this in the second set. He's kind of flown under the radar a little bit in this UBC offense, but doing a good job when the ball comes to him to find the court. When you look at how this offense is spread, of course, Rivgingero is leading the way with eight, but still Gavin Moses has five, Connor Tobis two, Warren is two, Vincent has two. Nice run, good dig there by Logan Greaves, but it's out of bounds. Well, nice run. It's been a while since McMaster's gone to the middle with their offense, so it's good to see them get Pavlik back involved in this game. Hopefully that's able to open things up for Fujisawa. Float served there by Fujisawa, and Mason Greaves is going to dump that one down. 7-5, UBC. Heads up play by Greaves. She's taking advantage of, uh, I believe that was Patterson who was supposed to be blocking him. That assignment just a little outside of him. Able to take advantage and find the middle of the court. Good pass there by Kirkhoff. Now outside to Mills. He's dug by Gingera. Oh, and it is going to be a net violation. Sorry, center line violation there by Brendan Mills, and his left side woes continue. Yeah, he was, he a big swing over the top, but unfortunately just that length, he's not able to keep it on his side of the court. Brendan Mills doing his unfortunately best impression of Arthur Schwartz right now, being a big Canadian right side who can't hit on the left. Here we go, McMaster down, down two early in this third set. 1-1 one, one all tied up in sets here in this quarterfinal matchup. That one's into the net for Patterson. They've subbed him up, out a couple times to serve and unfortunately that time he got a shot and didn't, wasn't able to find the court. Reeves now back to serve as UBC continues with the three-point lead at the moment. Mason Greaves going right after Brady Patterson, but he's up to the task. Now outside Graton, he continues. He is 13 for 14 on the day. Man, that is <laughs> it was a crazy statistic, especially for her left side, like you said, with the volume of sets he's getting. He's able to just score at will right now. Serves that one down the line. Oh, that was a temple ball. What a set there by Mason Greaves. I think Jameson set was swinging through that ball before it was even set. 100%. The speed he came out with that arm just allowed him to score and find that back corner. Moles now back to serve. That's long. And if there's one thing UBC needs to do to continue this lead is put the ball in. Yeah. You, you need to, to, to put the ball in, give yourself a chance to, to create that gap a little bit. Yeah, really keep your errors to a minimum. Mills now. One's into the net for Mills, unfortunately. Looked to take some off on that. Maybe saw the service reception deep and looked to drop one in short, but found the net. Gatton already setting himself up for this serve receive. Their formation on this is like how high Gatton is compared to Patterson beside him is, is very interesting. I know Patterson steps up here, but still. Oh, and miscommunication there by the Marauders. Not sure what happened. And just like that, UBC takes advantage. Kicking got in the way of Gatton there as he's trying to pass. Oh, it's Gavin Mose out of the back row. Nobody home, and he's able to put that ball away. And we're going to see a couple of subs here for McMaster. So we're actually going to see a double sub here. Coming into set is Jason Eidbert. And then coming in on the right side is going to be Thomas Williams, uh, who normally plays on the left, but doesn't look like they have many other options on the right right now after Mills. Nicely handled by Kirkhoff. Oh, no, it wasn't. I apologize. This goes right to Jim Jaron. He fists that one down as UBC is as strong as a forcing river right now, and they're feeling it. That's right, up five, forcing McMaster to take a timeout here in this in this second set. Uh, 
this is new we've seen from McMaster today is we've got a substitution into the game just recently, kind of switching their offensive setter coming in for the right side, right side coming in for the setter, switching to that front row back row. I wonder if when they get around in the rotation if we'll see those substitutions come back into the game and get Mills back into the front row and Fujisawa into the back. Well, we're going to have to see here because this is... It's been a Jekyll and Hyde McMaster team so far. Either they're on or they're off. When they're on, they're real on, and when they're off, they're real off. I mean, the, 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 the problem is is that offensively they have nothing going, but I, I tell him, he has been fantastic, and nothing else is going on. So Gretton leading the way. I still believe he's only made one, one error, I believe, in this set, if that. Leading the McMaster offense, and they need something here now down five in this third set all tied up 1-1 overall and UBC rolling James Vincent back to serve he's been awesome for UBC all all night long fast in the middle big block on the outside great to see him rolling today and he's back with the serve Vincent has been a huge piece here for the national team, or sorry, for UBC. I, I hope he's a huge piece for the national team moving forward. I know he's a part of that next-gen team and is looking forward to potentially playing for the B team this year. That will be run, led by none other than Glenn Hogue himself, the grandfather of Canadian volleyball, if you will. Graton heads back to serve. That is going to handcuff Tobe a little bit. He's going to get shut down. Great hey, block by Jared Kike in there. And this is who you want back on the service line if you're McMaster right now. Maxine Gretton, he's got the hot hand. If he can get rolling with his big spin serve, they're going to be able to find themselves digging out of this three-point hole. Yeah, that's all. Well, another big one and an ace. He, seriously, call him for like King Midas is his new name. He is so fantastic. Everything he's doing has just been unreal. And you just see the composure he has, too, as he steps back to serve. Like, the things he's doing today is just another day at the office for him. That one easily handled there by Logan Greaves and Jinjera. Oh! Caught a photographer in the face behind the court there. Ouch! Hopefully it was all right. I've been, in, I've been in that spot once or twice. Looks like everybody's okay. Jinjera continues to be the driving force of this UBC offense. Into the net there by Jinjera. The McMaster down two. Serving substitution coming in the game for McMaster. You know, we, were, we were talking about some of those next-gen guys. Ginger is another one of those ne next next gen guys as well. Yeah, he's been awesome today, and he's he's the kill leader for UBC this year. Morin kind of whiffed on that one, and now McMaster has it back. Great run there! What is set by Heidbert to Pavlik. And just like that, McMaster is right back in this one. What a fantastic substitution by Brad Dowds. Yeah, just it's really changed the momentum here in this set. As you see, UBC has to take their first time out of this set with their lead cut down to just one here by the McMaster Marauders. We're seeing a lot of maybe this is the experience, the patience, the being here before kind of by these Marauders who have been here, played in this gym, and you see them just calmly chip away at this lead that UBC had to now bring it down to only one point. And, I, and sometimes you see that, right, when one or two pieces of the team is not really clicking the way it usually does. And you bring in your bench, and all of a sudden things just start flowing. And they come in with that focus energy, and they're able to work things up. And that's been, that's been a fantastic job by McMaster here to show their depth and crawl back into this third set. And they trail only by one now. That's right, these teams, we, we often talk about the starting six or seven players for them, but they are deep benches. They are here for a reason. They're powerhouse programs that are able to recruit well and get this young talent, and this young talent's ready to step up, as you see from the Marauders, two substitutions into the game, and it's really swung momentum for McMaster 
as they've cut this lead only down to one as we come back out of this timeout. You know, it's, this is good. Just give a chance for Fujisawa. I wouldn't say necessarily Fujisawa has been having a poor game, but mostly give a chance for Brendan Mills to recenter himself, get things going again, just kind of settle things down. Because that one's going to be chipped in by Pilling. And he is almost there. I'm, is, is, is kick and serve that bad that they're bringing in Pilling? Because Pilling has missed a few, and that was kind of a buff. Yeah, it's not bad. Pilling's done an okay job, though. That was a bit of a high spin over the top for him. But a great fast arm into the middle by uh, Jesse Moore in there. Another serving sub there for the Thunderbirds. Dawson Pratt puts that one into that. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, sorry. Pratt is not a Thunderbird. He's in for toe. And now Williams. First real swing of the game finds its way into the net. You see, I talked to maybe that McMaster would substitute uh, Fujisawa and Mills back into the game, and they haven't yet. Typically, nope. this would have been the time when it happens as yeah. the, uh, the setter uh, for McMaster moves into the front row, Jason Heidbert. Let's go. Sea ball to Williams, and he puts it through. That's that substitution combo. Able to play off each other there. Big swing into the back row for Thomas Williams of McMaster. He is uh, uh, in his sixth year on the uh, stat sheet here. Of course, out of, out of Oakville, Ontario, and the Pac-Man Volleyball Club in Mississauga. Williams has been there for so long. He's such a veteran presence. And the fact that they're able to go to a guy like Thomas Williams, who's such a good volleyball player all around, on the bench, is, really works well for, for McMaster. 100%. It's a great, great weapon to have coming into a game. Greaves now serving as UBC holds that two-point lead into the net, though. Teams just trading miss serves here. Just kind of hang on to this one two-point lead for UBC. They haven't really been able to settle into this new McMaster lineup. Pavlik back to serve. He goes after Mose down the sidelines. And that's going to be tight for Gingera. What a swing, but handled by Patterson in the back row. Gatone just going to dump that one over. Now, outside, Gingera. Another dig by Patterson. And that one's going to be tight. Grease right side. And Gatto is able to track it down. What defense right now by the Marauders. Another chance. Right side. Mose. And it's touched. But that one won't come back. Finally, UBC gets it done. And they hold their two-point advantage. Great defense by the Marauders in the back row. And that was Patterson with two big digs off the heavy swing. But eventually Gavin Mose is able to put it away on the right side for UBC. Just tipped through there by Gretton. One of the few times he's touched the ball and hasn't scored. And oh, yeah, Ryan Bunyan doesn't like the throw. I agree. That one that one was a little egregious. Gingera still can't believe it. I agree with it. Yeah, tough play. Tight ball for Gingera, and he's trying to go up and make a play, and unfortunately, called for the lift. Now Gingera again, tugged by Heidberg. Oh, and it touches the basketball net. Oh, that's the worst. There's so much space in this Queens Gymnasium. Unfortunately, you've got the two basketball hoops hanging over each side of the court just as the corner of it caught the ball on that dig by McMaster. Vincent, as UBC continues to lead by two. Picked up by Kirkhoff. Outside to Williams. He's going to be tipped that one over, but Umorin is right there to swat it down. Yeah, great block by Umorin and Pratt, I believe. Good job closing in the middle, but great set of a block. Sorry, that was... Sorry, that was Gingera on the right side with that set of a block. Even set. Continues to serve as now the UBC lead up to three and... 
I was wondering, Ben, if they might kind of fade away after that second set, but they have come back mightily here and been playing some real good ball. They have. They've really done a good job of staying steady and just not panicking when things aren't going their way. Into that tall oh, with another big serve and an ace, and he continues to dominate. And timely, timely, timely with that serve. Cutting this lead down to one. Let's see McMaster's hovered around this one two-point deficit for a while now. Let's see if Creton can push them over the edge and tie things up. I've seen some pretty incredible U Sport National Championships performances over the years, and this has to be up there with one of them. Another big serve there by Graton, way out of system is UBC. Oh, and oh, they managed somehow to get themselves out of that one. Dawson Pratt manages the high ball real well, puts it off the block and down. Unfortunate there for McMaster. Kaiken was up on the block, but didn't have his press fully over, and that was Pratt that took advantage. UBC continuing with the two-point spread as Jinjera sprays that one out of bounds. Kick it now. Serving for the Marauders. It's in play. Grease to Lou Morin. Kept alive. Nice set by Heidberg. Patterson still alive for McMaster. Patterson again. Try to keep that one alive. It's a little too tight. And into the antenna. 22-20 for UBC. Yeah, just a tough ball there for Patterson on the left side. You can see Gretton talking to the young setter for McMaster. Heidberg just talking about where to maybe place that ball to give give them the best chance to swing. Here's Pratt, just dribbles that one over. Now right side to Williams, he's shut down by Umorin and Mose. And Mose continues to be the anchor for this UBC ship right now. Forcing McMaster to take their second and final timeout of this, of this third set. Down three right now to UBC. All tied up 1-1 in sets. UBC took the first one, 25-22, and McMaster 25-18 in the second. And two points away from taking this third set for UBC. Some of the highlights so far from this set right now. And you know what? UBC is in a position that I think if you had asked them at the beginning of the season, if Hey, guess what? You're going to be potentially up 2-1 in a quarterfinal against McMaster. They would take that all day long. 100% they would. This is two talented teams we have here, and McMaster being your OUA champion, uh, and the UBC Thunderbirds being the bronze medalist in Kenda West. Um, but the Kenda West, we talked about this earlier, being such a strong division. To be the third team coming out of Can West is no slouch in itself. And these UBC Thunderbirds, they may be the lower seed here in this six versus three matchup, but they are showing that they are they are one of the top eight teams in the country for a reason. Dawson Pratt continues to serve. UBC leads by three. Puts it with a little bit more pace this time. Patterson's going to get it back on the outside. He's shut down by Mason Greaves. Greaves is doing a little bit of everything today. Running an awesome offense here for UBC Thunderbirds. I believe that's his third stuff block of the game and some substitutions coming back into the game for McMaster. It's interesting that they're going to bring Robbie and Brennan back at this point of the set, but, you know, it is what it is. But back to Mason Greaves. He is a volleyball player. Capital V, capital P. He's just a baller for sure. 100%. Like if I if I was in a street fight volleyball match, I want Mason Greaves on my team. Good run there by Fujisawa to Pavlik, and that is going to be a net violation on you, Morgan. Master survives that set point there for UBC down 21-24 here in this third set. Fujisawa serving. 
Oh, wow. Mishandle there by Grease. Just popped over by Moes. Now Fujisawa outside to Patterson. Just tipped over. Pancake there by Jinjera. Robbie now to the pipe. Gaton is dug. Haven't said that much today. Jinjera with the swing and he finds the court. No, he doesn't. They're going to call that one out. I thought that was in. I very, just saw it. My apologies. Very, very close play there. And that forces UBC to take a timeout. And we know this McMaster team, they were down four, but they were not out of this set. Now trailing two, 22-24. Two set points for UBC. And maybe UBC just looking to slow things down here. A little momentum going McMaster's way. Just need one point to take this third set. Yeah, you know... You would, I was questioning why they brought Mills and Fujisawa back into the match, but already it's paid off. Already you forced UBC to call a timeout. You've injected a little bit of doubt in their game, and even if it doesn't work out for this set here, you get to regroup and you get to bring a little bit of momentum and a little bit of confidence heading into that fourth set. Yeah, and it gets them back on the floor. Maybe kind of get the legs back, get ready for that fourth set, um, and get themselves back in this game. Could also have done it too, just out of timeouts, right? Just looking to slow down a server, a quick substitution into the game just to make them think about it a little bit longer. But we've got McMaster serving down two, 24-22 in this third set. McMaster setter, Robbie Fujisawa, oh, Fujisawa, sorry, back to serve, down two to UBC. That's home so far, 13 kills and three aces. That's unreal. As Fujisawa is gonna put this one back in, he goes at Moe's and Mason Green's gonna take it on himself to finish this one. UBC leads two to one. Who else but Mason Greaves to take that set point. Just like you said, take it into his own hands and put that ball down on the McMaster side. You know what, and it's, it's, he's really been the key for them all afternoon. Of course, Jinjera has been having a, a pretty good game. He's got 11 kills so far, but also also five errors. But they've spread out that offense so well, and it's such a testament to, to Greaves and how he runs this offense, but just how much of a leader he is on the ball. But UBC takes set number three, 25-22, and they lead here 2-1 to one in the U Sports Men's Volleyball National Championships. shares. They do it for the fun of it, for the thrill, for the camaraderie, for the memories. CBC Sports, just because they love it. Hey, you sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. celebration as if you're standing right on the sideline, immersing you in the game like never before, bringing heart-pounding action directly to millions of fans. We deliver unparalleled simplicity and tailor-made digital broadcasting solutions crafted to make you feel every moment in a way like never before. Our passionate team ensures your message reaches audiences reliably every time. Proudly Canadian, we bring a touch of innovation and our passion to the world stage. ISI Live, be there. Sports on CBC, presented by the Championnat du Sport at Radio Canada, une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the government of Canada. Nike, just do it. Fedler, Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U Sports Coach of the Year program. Pierre partenaire des prix de l'entraîneur de l'année U Sport. Veraburn, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979. Partenaire du Sport Universitaire depuis 1979. Baron, exclusive supplier of U Sports Championship rings. 
le fournisseur exclusif des packs des championnats U-Sport. Et par Mikasa, l'étoile menton du volleyball, le V200W, ballon officiel de U-Sport. And by Mikasa, maker of volleyball's hottest star, the V200W, official volleyball of U-Sports. And we are back here with the 2024 Men's Volleyball U-Sports National Championships from Queen's University in Kingston. UBC has a two to one lead. The bronze medalist of the Canada West leading the gold medalist from the OUA McMaster Marauders. Miss serve, er, to, sorry, to start this set by UBC. McMaster the one nothing lead. Set up there by Vincent. Nicely handled. Here's Graton. What to say? That is where he left off. Graton from the left side just scoring at will right now. I think he's like 14 for 17 on the afternoon so far, Ben. Like it's it's been incredible to watch. Crazy, crazy. He's, he's putting he's putting up middle like numbers with high volume as Pavlik puts this one in at Dawson Pratt. Now to the right side. Mose is shut down by Graton. He's in all score columns now. He's killing, he's blocking, and he's serving. Doing a little bit of everything right now for McMaster, knowing that they've got to come out strong in this fourth set with their uh, gold medal hopes on the line here, needing to win this to stay alive. Pavlik starting this one off with the wiggler, and that one goes a little long. Good start for McMaster, though. Even with the missed serve, you see them up 3-1. UBC back to serve. That's Gavin Mose, who has been a force all night long for the Thunderbirds. Oh, and that one touches Gavin Mose with the ace. He just continues to score today for the Thunderbirds and doing it in a variety of ways. He's been awesome on the service line. He's been even better at the front and did a good job blocking as well. You love Gavin Mose right now. You're his, big, you're his number one fan. Oh, almost the dribbler and just going to be a free ball sent over by McMaster. Oh, ugliness all around. Has won one free ball to another overpass. Let's just forget that point. Yeah, tough play there for uh, Greaves trying to bring that ball back onto his side of the court, unfortunately. Can't do that. Point for McMaster. Mills back to serve. Let's see if he can get going here in this fourth set. Puts in a good one with good pace. Now right side, Jinjera! Oh my goodness. That was a fast set there by Mason Greaves. Onto a freight chain train of Reeves and Jera. Just an awesome run by James Vincent out of the middle too to hold that middle blocker and give Jinjera that one on one on the right side. Vincent going after Patterson. That's an overpass and thrown down by Dawson Pratt. Great job by Pratt. Heads up play, fine in the open spot in the court. Often you see players want to take the big swing on that overpass, but the point looks the same on the scoreboard either way. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you tip it or if you bounce it. It's still a point. Been set. Uh, again, that flat float serve causes so much problem. Mills with a good swing. That's something to build some confidence off of. Now Pratt on the outside. He's just going to roll it over. Fujisawa outside. home automatic. This cannot be handled there. UBC was even in good position defensively yeah. in the back row. Hey. And Graton with the power swing from the left side. Just not able to handle it. Mose was there. And Graton back to serve now. He's already got three aces on the afternoon. Add another. Add another. That's four. Wow. And that tough down the line short dropping spin serve is hard to do, but Gratton is making everything look easy today. He's pulling everything out of his bag of tricks right now, and it's looking like Hermione's bag because that's been deep. Gratton into the net.
Ginger now back to serve for UBC. As the Marauders lead by one. Gingera nicely handled by Patterson. Right side now, Mills, Seaball, and there's the kill. And you see that McMaster bench erupt, and you see Graton's eyebrows start going, because if Mills gets going, that causes danger for UBC. Just a great play there by Mills out of the back row. He's had a couple good swings in the set. Finally seeing one bounce off the ground. Now kicking back to serve. Just got to keep it in, and that's what he does. Logan passes it up to his brother. Mose out of the back row is slowed down. Now outside, Patterson with the swing. Oh, he was looking for the touch down the line. None given for Brady Patterson, and that was an opportunity there for McMaster to create a solid gap. Yeah, he had the line open, just a little overturn with those shoulders and out the side. Overpass there by Patterson. Chance here for UBC to tie it up. Right side, Gingero puts it away. Nobody there on that block for McMaster. Gingero makes them pay. Oh, with the ace! He goes sideline to sideline, and that lefty spinner catches Brady Patterson off guard, and now we're going to see a sub as the first year comes out in place of Evan Bremer. And UBC take control of this lead once again, up 8-7. Right side, Mills off the block, and that's kept alive by Pratt. Just going to be dumped over by Greaves. No, he'll take it too, but good dig by Mills. Outside now, Bremer is dug by Gingera. Now to Mose. He's slowed down, but Bremer gets it up. Now, Mills, tons of time. He's going to swing away and put it long. Just a bit too much hesitation there by Brendan Mills. Yeah, a little bit of a stutter step in the approach there, and unfortunately that one goes long for McMaster, and we're seeing UBC put on a little bit of a run here behind the serve of number 14, Dawson Pratt, up two. You know, Dawson came, uh, Pratt came in off the bench for uh, Connor Tobe, and he's really done a good job. He hasn't, you know, he's not a guy that's going to beat you with a lot of power, but he has quite a bit of control uh, with that ball. Yeah, he's been great. Good defensive sets for him as well, too. Good digs. And there with a great service run to give McMahon, or UBC a one-point lead. Off the net there, and Moses is going to get it back. That's kept alive there by Matthew Rogozzi. Just dumped over by Mills, and that is out of bounds. Oh, Logan agrees with that. That very nearly hit him on the back. Yes. Just able to keep his heels out of the way there. And this, and this is this is really the tale of two cities right now for McMaster. On one end, you've got Maxim Graton, who's been absolutely perfect. On the other end, you've got Brendan Mills, who can't buy a point. Outside now to Mills. He's going to swing away. New Moran is going to dig that up. Can they keep it alive? They do. Oh! A little bit of miscommunication there from UBC. Is that some middle defense right there? That uh, he, he might need to take some notes from John Tadzi of, uh, of Laval. That's right. Good morning. He was dropping in for coverage for the big swing and fortunately landed behind him. Here's Bremer. Goes down the line. And nicely done. Gingera. Not sure what happened on that one. It was right in front of Robbie Fujisawa. I would have thought that it's a ball that Pavlik got the touch, maybe redirected a little bit. Jason Greaves back in the serve again. He's been awesome all night long for UBC. He's definitely been the best Thunderbird on the court. And now this is going to be just dumped over by McMaster. Another chance here for UBC, and James Vincent makes no mistake. That's forced as a timeout from McMaster as UBC opens up a three-point lead here in this fourth set. This is uh, this is a little astonishing. I won't lie, Ben. McMaster is once again one of the one of the stalwart programs in this country, and they have 
It has just not been their day. We have not no. seen the best from McMaster at all this afternoon. But on the other side, UBC is playing some fearless volleyball. For a bunch of younger guys, they are really out there balling out. Yeah, it's been been quite the match for UBC. They've done an excellent job, really spearheaded by their setter, um, Mason Greaves, doing, doing it all uh, here today for them. He's on the service line right now on a bit of a run. Ran their offense. He's even taken a couple swings we've seen today, which is very rare for a setter, but he's done an excellent job. And on the other side, the McMaster, you, you've seen Max Graton really take the lead here for McMaster, but they struggle in other areas. So they'll look to come out of this timeout with maybe a little bit more energy, maybe look to bounce their offense, or if, Max, if Graton's hot, keep giving them the ball. This is, yeah, this is where you, if you're Fuchsawa, you give the ball to one person, one person only. It's Max Graton. Until he shows that he can't do it anymore, you continue to give it him. In the last match, Ben, we talked about, is this an emotional timeout or a tactical timeout? 100% emotional timeout for McMaster right there. Their, their season is on the line right there, and they know it. That's right. If you're McMaster, you've got Mills and Gretton in the front row, so look to side out to one of them. It's no longer the time to get Mills going. You just need to feed Gretton. And, I, and my big question is how long can he sustain this, right? Like, it's, it's, it's well over three sets now. That's such a hard thing to do as Pavlik heads back to serve. That is a nice serve, a nicely handled by Pratt. Right side now to Mose. Off the block of Gato and out of bounds. Nice calm side out by U UBC. You see the Thunderbirds, just no panic in what they're doing. McMaster may score a point, but they bounce right back. Moe's. Puts that one in at Graton. And he's going to get it right back on the outside. And he's going to score again. He's just been exquisite tonight. Yeah. He's got that type of attitude that, like, you... you if you're if you're Roger Fuchsau, like, I mean, like, you're just feeling like you're the best. You're the best. Yep. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. You're just pumping his tires as much as you can right now. Mills back on the baseline. A good serve. Nicely handled by Pratt. Right side to Gingera. Slowed down by Graton. Opportunity here for the Marauders. Graton on the outside. Off the block and out of bounds. They pull within one. Just like that. The master chips away at that three-point lead. Cuts it down to one. Mills on the service line. Mills making sure that he's in his in his rhythm there and actually went back to the baseline to do his steps. Gotta love that. Attention to detail. Brendan Mills with another big serve. Into the middle. Vincent. Oh! Kicking was almost there. Vincent, again, he's been one of those Thunderbirds that when they need a point, they're able to find him in the middle. You know, he's got the size, but he also brings the speed to his middle attack. Jagato, right after that, immediately goes to Mills. Like, great serves, great serves. He's trying to pump him up. Vincent now. Right at Bremer. Pass to the attack line. Outside, Jagato, real tight. He's going to be blocked, but kept alive. And another joust. Mills caught napping in the back row. That was Jesse Umorn with the big joust block there for UBC. And we are going to see a substitution. Uh, I thought it looked like Brad Dallas was going to hide Burt. And Williams are getting ready on the right side. It's time. The nighttime is coming for McMaster here soon as Graton gets it on the outside. And we got a touch on it that time. Graton back to serve here. Only down two. Graton with 18 kills. Four aces and a block today. Britain puts that one into the net, giving UBC their three-point lead back. Jara now back to serve. He has been the best scorer today for the Thunderbirds with 14 kills and an ace. That one 
as soon as he tossed it, you could tell that was way too far ahead of him. Yeah, it's just a little far for his feet to catch up to that ball, and it finds its way into the net. Back-to-back -back missed serves for, for each team here. Kicking to serve for the Marauders. He was able to go on a little bit of a run early in the game. Let's see if he can do so again. Oh, that toss is right on top of him. He needs to manage it. Easy pass there by Pratt. He's going to get it back on the outside, down the line, dug by Mills. And just an unfortunate play there by the Marauders. UBC continues with the three-point lead. And the UBC middle is doing a great job of just running aggressively, holding the McMaster middles on the block and giving those outside Thunderbirds one-on-one -on -one matchups. Nice pass there by Bremer. They're going to run Pavlik in the middle, and that is going to fall just out of bounds. Good side out there by Max. Or by Mac. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to call them Max Graton right now. He, is <laughs> he has put them on his back today, keeping them within two. Right side now to Jinjera. Oh, Bremer was there. Just couldn't press with that right shoulder. Jinjera continues to show why he was the kills leader for UBC this year. Putting on a clinic, he's been awesome out of the back row today. The majority of his kills, I feel like, have come out of the back row. Or he's been at least balanced front and back row. You can really feel the tension in the gym right now as Nick Johnson comes in to serve. This is this is the rotation. Kirkhoff handles it nicely in the middle to Pavlik. But we're, it's it's every single time. McMaster goes to, to make a play and get a steal with it on block on defense. They're just inches away. And you have that feeling that if McMaster can make one play for a steal here, whether it's a block, a digger, or an ace, it could potentially change the momentum of this match. That's right, and they've got Graton back in the front row, so don't be surprised if they go to him. Rammer, that serve is going to be long. Mason Grease heads back to serve for the Marauders. Just pause there for Bremer to tie his shoot. Critical juncture of this match, right here. Mason Grease. Bremer passes that one real tight. Ooh, and that was is gonna be given to the UBC Thunderbirds. Unfortunate, Fujisawa was trying to bring that ball back on, but heads up play by UBC to also hit hands on it and get the back or the illegal block call there. Reeves continues to serve, goes at Bremer. This time he passes off the net. Outside, Gatol swings away, cross court, he's dug. Logan Greaves, right side, Jin Jarrett's short. He's going to dump it over, but stopped. Pavlik handles that first ball. Fuchisawa off the net. That's all. Oh, is blocked. It's kept alive, though. UBC again. Jinjera is dug by Kirkhoff. Now high up to Gatton. He's just going to dump it over. UBC with the chance there. Vincent Kirkhoff handles it, but it's out the back. UBC with the five-point lead right now. And I can all them he already hear them going nuts in Kitsilano. And UBC is rolling right now, forcing McMaster to take their second and final time out here in this fourth set. McMaster down five, down two one in sets. Their gold, not their season, but their gold medal hopes are on the line here right now. It's really too bad that you have such an incredible performance by Max Gatton, really overshadowed by the rest of the team just not being there. And as much as I say the rest of the team, unfortunately, it, it kind of does fall on Brendan Mills here a, a, a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot of it. Yeah, and, you, and on the other side, you see UBC just so balanced. Everybody doing their job. You have, of course, um, sorry, you have Jinjera being their consistent go-to guy, but you're seeing uh, Vincent out of the middle be dominant. You're seeing Gavin Mose just do it on the service line and offensively. So everybody chipping into this team team game right now and potential team win here in this quarterfinal matchup. UBC is proving how well coached of a team they are right now. And how well run they are, especially with Mason Brees running that offense. I would I would give him the player of the game 100%. I don't think it's up to us, but if anyone's listening right now, we should be giving the player of the game to Mason Brees. 
And he is back to serve here with his team up five. Off the net pass, though, once again, outside to Graton. And that's going to be dug up by Greaves. Ginger is going to chip it over, handled by Kirkhoff. Once again, the Graton, cross court. That's blocked. They're going to get it back to the middle. Pavlik with the quick run. It is also going to be a net violation on UBC, so I'm sure McMaster would love to see a double point on the scoreboard, but that's not how it happens. No, unfortunately not, but uh, great play by Pavlik there. Fast up, no approach, but able to find open court on the UBC side, and he's going back to serve. With him in the front row right now, Robbie, oh no, he's going back to serve, I apologize. I was going to say, Robbie needs to feed him. Like, if it's not Graton, it's, it's got to be Pavlik. Pavlik floats that one in, nicely handled by Dawes. He's impressed me with his passing. Oh, Robbie Fujisawa tries to strap that one on, but off his shoulder and into the crowd. Right, Evan Mose, there he is again. And he's going back to serve now for UBC, up 22-17 in this fourth set. Three points away from punching their ticket to the national semi semifinal. Mose. Right at Gatone. I'm sure he's going to get it back, but no. Kicking is shut down in the middle. And that was James Vincent doing what he's done all night long. Big and physical in the middle. I, Robbie's just got to give the ball to Gatone. Right? you got to let your guys swing away. Yeah, Gatone here on the just last substitution him. coming in the game. Brady Patterson back in. Maybe looking to spark a defensive point here for McMaster. Good serve there by Mose. Gingera on the right side. He's blocked, but it's kept alive. Now he's going to handle it. This is just going to be a free ball over by Pratt. Kirkhoff to Fujisawa. Right side. Mills. He's blocked. Patterson all the way to the other side to Graton. He swings away, and he's blocked. Matt Graton's first error of the match comes to give UBC match point. And you could just see him deflate like a like a balloon on that one as soon as that ball hit the ground. That's right. Graton's been excellent all game. But UBC with match point. Mose to serve. Puts that one into the net. But luckily, they've got quite a few points to just get one here. As we're going to see, coming out is Mills and coming in to serve is Heidbert. Heidbert did a good job when he came into the third set as well. Let's see if you can spark something for McMaster here. Nice pass there by Dot. That is going to be a lift call. No, you know what? I like it, Ryan Bunyan. I like be tight on the lift calls. I don't, I don't need any of that. Let the boys hit the ball. None of this catch and throw stuff. Go play handball if you want to do that. <laughs> Here's Heidbert trying to keep his season alive. Right side. Gingera. It is done. It is over. The UBC Thunderbirds have upset the McMaster Marauders, and they will go on to have a rematch against the Alberta Golden Bears in the semifinals. What a match here by the UBC Thunderbirds. The UBC came to play today, and not just one or two players. You saw everybody contribute for this UBC team. We've talked about them all night long, but... Um, yeah. Sorry, Mason Greaves, the UBC setter, was just phenomenal. Running an offense, calm, cool, collected. He was awesome. Yeah, that was, it was really too bad that... McMaster is just not what we would expect from them normally. As we see hugs all around, as they are emotional, they know that their season is done and it is really too bad. Let's check in on Max Sainte, Max, uh, not Saint Denis, Max Gaton's stat line again because he was it's, it, it, it's really too bad that, I mean, in the team com comparison, McMaster actually got more kills uh, than UBC, but Max Graton had 18 kills, only one error, an ace, and a block. 
He did everything he could tonight. Unfortunately, it just wasn't enough for this balanced UBC team. Yeah. And just like that, we have an All-Canada West semifinal set up for tomorrow. And of course, Max Breton getting named as the player of the game. Well deserved. I know it's not the honor he wants. He would have liked to come out with a win here today, but an honor he deserved. He was he was the best player for Mac without a doubt. And James Vincent getting the player of the game for UBC. He was massive, especially in that first set. Let's see some of his stats here. James Vincent, seven kills, an ace and five blocks. He was phenomenal all night long. And was, like you said, in that first set, crucial to that big comeback by UBC that really pushed their momentum and pushed them over the edge in this quarterfinal matchup. All right, we will be right back with the player game shortly. Mark Hughes here, president of Canuck Stuff. We've been standing behind our overkill clothing and supporting athletes for over 30 years. We're pumped to be part of this year's U Sports National Championships. For the fun of it, for the thrill, for the camaraderie, for the memories. CBC Sports, just because they love it. Hey, you sports fans. All right, guys, we are here with James Vincent of the UBC Thunderbirds after their 3-1 to win over the McMaster Marauders here in the quarterfinals of the 2024 Men's U Sport Volleyball Championships. And James, 
you guys started that first set a little strong. McMaster came ahead. You were down 21-18. And then there was that one rotation. Nick Johnson comes in to serve. You shut down Brendan Mills multiple times. And that kind of changed the entirety of the match right there. For sure. Yeah, I know that. Well, kudos to Nick Johnson getting out, getting them out of system. Uh, wicked clutch server for us. Um, but, yeah, just went back to the game plan that we uh, planned him out and, you know, just had free reign just to release on Mills and, and shut him down. It, it felt great, yeah. How much of it today is just playing loose? You guys are coming in here as the third Canada West team. You're playing a stalwart team who's used to being in a medal position. How much of it is just coming here and, and going you know, all out and having fun? I think that was, like, the biggest key for us coming here. We got a bit of a younger team, not as, as much experience as McMaster or U of A, and I think when we kind of watched the U of A Laval game, that first set, everybody was just so tight and kind of won, saw who won. The first set was the looser team, and that was just a big focus for us. I think that kind of lapsed in the second set, but then we just found it again and just, just kept pushing through and, and trying to play as loose as possible. What was the difference between the second to the third? Because I thought you guys might, you know, sometimes you see that the team comes back and they deflate a little in the second and it's kind of over, but you guys were able to bounce back nicely. Yeah, I think we just, yeah, fell back on, on being loose and, and just focusing on our keys, focusing on our cues and, yeah, leaning back on the game plan, but also just knowing that, you know, guys are guys that play free, they're going to kind of spread that to the rest of the team, and I think that's what I tried to bring in that third set as well. Now looking forward, you guys have Alberta in tomorrow's semifinal. You're smiling already, a nice little rematch. Yeah. Um, obviously, you're going in. They're the Canada West champions. Is it a no-pressure situation for you guys once again tomorrow? Yeah, I think it's it's kind of, yeah, another no-pressure. Like, they won. They've got everything to prove, and, and we've got nothing to lose. And I think, like, we split the season, basically, and um, – I think it's just going to be a good game all around, and I think everybody on both sides is looking forward to it. Awesome. Well, James, fantastic match. Seven kills, five blocks, outstanding stat line, and best luck in the semis tomorrow. Yeah, thank you so awesome. Much. Thanks, one. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much for watching match number two of the 2024 Men's Volleyball National Championships here at Queen's University. We will be back at 6 p.m. Uh, for semi or quarterfinal number three between the home Queen's Gales and the Trinity Western Spartans. We'll see you then.